Hello and welcome to the video for Azure SQL Database Profiling. The SQL Server Profiler using in SQL Server Management Studio does not support Azure SQL Databases. So as a workaround, we can use SQL Server Profiler extension in Azure Data Studio. While connecting SQL Profile in Azure SQL Database using SSMS, we will get an error like this. While showing this error, we think that we could not profile in Azure databases. This will possible through the Azure Data Studio. Azure Data Studio support lot of extensions. While installing SQL Server Profiler extension in Data Studio, we can trace our queries. We can check all these things from the demo. This is the Azure Data Studio window. These all things we want to do in profiling from Azure Data Studio. First, install Azure Data Studio, connect to the database, install SQL Server Profiler extension, open Profiler, filter option in the Profiler. In this demo, I am not going through all about in uh, Azure Data Studio, just how to work with SQL Profile. Open the browser, just type download Azure Data Studio, click on the first link showing, then you will get in this window. Here we can show the download options, Windows, Mac, Linux, the Data Studio working all these OS then just scroll down download and and run the Azure Data Studio using user installer for Windows just click on this and download the exe file then you will get get this exe file just double click and install this I have already installed Azure Data Studio. This is Azure Data Studio window. Here you can see the lot of icons in the left side. First one is connect the database and other buttons also you can see. First I want to connect the SQL Server. Here I am connecting to the local database, not Azure. I have no demo account, all the accounts I am using for production purpose, for the security purpose, just I am showing in love with the local database. Just click on the connection button. Here you can see the three icons, creating for new connections or create a server group and show the connections. First, I am clicking creating a server group. You can see the new window. Just type the server group name. Just typing demo and click OK. Then we can create a new connection. While clicking on this button, we can show this window. Then here you can show the connection type. The here is Microsoft SQL Server. You can connect it post SQL Server or other relation database for from here. I'm selecting Microsoft SQL Server. Then give the uh, server name here. I'm just copying the server name from the management studio. type the server name or the indication type SQL server username is a password want to remember the password just click on this one want to select the database search the database 
that we are creating the uh, connection under the demo server group so we can see the server group here select the server group and connect now database is connected you can see the connected database details i have created a one database for demo db the database contains uh, one table users and one store procedure so i have created uh, for this demo purpose you want to query from the actual data is just click on or right click or new query otherwise you can select the new query from here i'm just clicking on the new query window it says open This is our table for demo. Then we can check how to connect, how to open SQL Server Profiler. In the left side, we can show a lot of buttons. And last, there's a button for extensions. First, we want to install SQL Profiler extension in Azure Data Studio. Clicking on, you can see a lot of extension available in Azure Data Studio. You can search the profiler from here. Just click and type profiler. Then you can see the SQL Server profiler. Just clicking on this. Here we can see an install button, but I have already installed the profiler in Data Studio. so not inst install button instead of we can see the uninstall first we need to install the sql server profiler just click on install button this will install within a few seconds i'm closing this window the server database i have already connected the database before connecting the sql server profile you must log in as an admin privilege login. You know, how to trace permission is required to trace the SQL profiler. So just press Alt and P key from your keyboard. Then this will get a new window. Also select the session templates. Just standard on prom is selected. While connecting to Azure database, is showing as Azure database then here just click a start button then here three you can see the three buttons start stop and pause here the start button is already clicked the profile is running we can pause the from here stop and again start from here Uh, here we can see the event classes, text data, application name, login name, SPID, start time, CPU reads, and the duration. This we want to check a lot of times and database ID, data name, this name, etc. Then next we can check how to filter our queries using SQL Server Profiler. I'm just stopping this and clearing the data. Here we can see a filter button. Just click on the filter button. Here you can fill a button add close to add the filter option. Click on this one. You can see a lot of fields here available field all the available fields are showing here just click on text data to filter any object names and uh, uh, the things or we can select database id database name or login name i'm just selecting the text data from here 
then here I want to select a filter some procedure from here just here I am created a one small procedure name get all users this is get all users procedure the here there is some users in this table then I'm copying from this procedure then I'm pasting here get all users here text data equal to get all users instead we can select the contains options because text data contains all the information about the queries so I am selecting for contains then we want to save this filter option we can click the save filter we have an already saved filter we can load the filter then I am just applying this filter then click ok then start the profiler I am going to execute this we can execute twice let's open the profiler we can see the procedure here then execution and duration this is microseconds I am pausing this then we can check the text details and by clicking details we can show all these things here this case let's try this uh, how to filter the SQL databases in SQL Azure Data Studio profiler all these things I have done you can see from Azure SQL database also let's check this one thank you for watching